we have some rolling hills coming up, so I start the video again. I'm cruising along at 61, 62 miles an hour. Third gear, torque converter locked. My transmission temperature was up to 202, but my heat diesel fan clutch kicked in and now it's dropping. It'll probably get back down to 183 where it was before I hit that small town. 2300 RPM or so. Here comes a hill, 3 PSI, 4 PSI, downshift, 7 PSI. I hit almost 800, I'm at 800 degrees going past it, 8 PSI, and it pretty much stops. 8 PSI, 48% throttle, 825, 850 on the temperature. Gonna go down the hill and back up another hill to do the same thing all over again. You can see how the progressive nature, the, the, the little graph over there even shows it, how it's progressive and how it uh, injects. Air goes uphill. Downshift. Eight hundred degrees, eight psi boost. Eight fifty degrees. But it pretty much stops it. I have not been over nine hundred degrees with this system engaged. Now, I've had hills where it doesn't downshift, both empty and with the trailer, and I'll hit seven or eight PSI boost, or, excuse me, I will be climbing hills at four or five PSI, and my EGTs will hit 950 to 1,000. But as soon as the system starts putting in more, it just stops it right at 900 degrees. So the Nitrous Express, snow performance, methanol injection. I tried to get as many parameters shown at the same time on my shot. Sorry about the bouncing, but it's, it is a moving vehicle. Here it goes again. Pretty much all in on the injection, and it stops at 850. Now there's 9 PSI, 850. So, if you're thinking about intercooler or water meth injection, or if you have an intercooler and you're still getting too high of temperatures, I would recommend methanol injection, the snow performance kit. Now, I have an indirect injection diesel. I have no idea how this works on direct injection diesels. Everything I've seen on the internet says they're amazing, but I don't know. I just know with my indirect injection diesel, it has made it so I can run, I'm running 62 miles an hour climbing hills with a cruise control set when I would probably be running 35 to 40 miles an hour just trying to move on this 82 degree sunny spring day.